What's up, Grapplers? This is Marshall from Artichoke Media. I'm here at Steel City South, and I want to show you some few things I've been working on. Uh, the last two weeks, we've looked at bellying down, uh, attacking when somebody bellies down, and then we looked at how to safely belly down so you don't get uh, submitted or get your back taken as easily if you have to turn away. So I wanted to build on that today and show you how that same concept that we looked at last week, the, the safe belly down where you're blocking your chin, and dropping your arm low and turn it over. I want to build on that idea and show you how it also applies to bellying down in a position that's not side control. So we're going to look at, I'm here, Paul's in technical mount. So Paul's in technical mount here, right? So whenever Paul's in a good technical mount, his position is completely built on stopping me from turning back into him. Every, the entire structure that Paul's built is designed to keep me on my side here. So he's got his knee nice tight to my back, his hips are sitting heavy on my hips, so it's really hard to rotate, and he wants me to belly down. So unfortunately, that's going to be my best choice in a lot of cases, so I have to be able to do that safely. So last week we looked at, when I'm here in this position, to take my top arm and come under my chin here, and I'll, I'll do this uh, one time when I'm not facing this way so you can really see what I'm doing. Uh, bringing my, 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 uh, my fingers here, and then we start going over this top arm. So we're going to do the same thing here, and I want you to see how my hips move in this position. So I'm here, I've got my, uh, got my chin in, so actually let's rotate. Okay, right. Cool. So I'm here, my fingers are underneath my chin. Now this arm has to come underneath me to get out of this position reliably. So the, the, uh, the danger here is, is that I, I give Paul a chance to uh, set his first hook. So when I do this, I gotta do it kind of quickly, and I wanna do it with uh, good form. So underneath my chin, my hands down, because I don't want him to get that bow and arrow kind of grip. So I'm here, and I'm starting to step over. So I take, take like a big step out, I kind of elevate my hips. Now my, uh, my bottom arm pulls underneath me, almost like I'm reaching for like a six shooter, like I'm going underneath here, I'm going to cup the back of Paul's ankle. So I'm just grabbing it just like this. So my hand just goes right underneath, cup the back of Paul's ankle, but I go back to where I was here. So now with this grip on Paul's ankle, you can see where my hand is right here. I'm not pushing his leg away, I'm just using this grip to keep Paul's leg in the same place. So now I can shrimp this out, bring a knee in, and start getting him into half guard. So we got one more time, Paul. So I'm inside. Always protecting my neck because that bow and arrow grip is a big thing Paul's looking for, or it can turn into a clock choke if he's really sneaky. So I get my, my, my fingers right to tip of my chin, not up, up, not up by my ear, just nice and low. Close that channel down here. Elbow nice and tight so he doesn't arm bar me. Step over, start to belly down. This, this arm shoots back like I'm looking for a pistol grip, like I'm looking for an actual pistol, like a six shooter western style. Get that ankle grip. And I turn back. Now with that grip here, Paul can't uh, close his ankle in nice and tight because he wants that cinch for that technical mount. So I shrimp back, wrap up that half guard. So without Paul here, basically what I'm doing, I want you guys to be able to see how my hips are moving. I step over, lift my hips up just a little bit, so I can pull my elbow back underneath. So my body doesn't actually uh, rotate away. Uh, it rotates in a circle. So I rotate in a circle, lift my hips, and then come right back down. I'm not moving laterally at all. It's just one, uh, one uh, stationary swivel, so to speak. So uh, give that a shot, that technical amount of skate. Uh, technical amount drove me nuts for a long time. Once I learned how to kind of reach in and get that, that ankle grip, it really saved my life. And having that posture where I'm blocking the choke while I do that has been, been pretty critical too. So give it a shot.